To balance the net ionic equation for Al plus PbNO3, this is aluminum metal plus lead to nitrate, first we need to balance the molecular equation. So I've already balanced the molecular equation. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to balance this molecular equation here. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. Both aluminum and lead, they're solids, they're metals, solid metals. Then for the nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, these nitrates are very soluble. So we're gonna have AQ after those. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So the only thing that's the same here in the reactants and the products, that's these six nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, so we can cross these out since they're on both sides. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Al plus PbNO3 too. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. As I look at my balanced net ionic equation, I can see it's not balanced. I have one Al here and two here. So I forgot to put this two in front. So you always want to make sure that the atoms count up, that they're balanced. Three of the Pb, three Pb, that's good. I can also see the charge is balanced. Three times two plus, that gives me six plus. Two times three plus, that gives me six plus. So the charge is the same on both sides. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum plus lead to nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.